Phineas Gage was in 1848. During railway construction, explosives detonated. A 1.1 m iron rod pierced through Gage's skull. It entered from the left. It passed behind his left eye and exited from the top. He was conscious. He made his way to the doctor by himself. He had the composure to tell jokes during treatment. He lost vision in his left eye. Before the accident, he was a diligent and responsible supervisor. After the accident, impulsive and vulgar behavior increased. He lost his planning ability. Dr. Harlow recorded that he was no longer Gage. The damaged frontal lobe was. It was the part that regulates emotions and behavior. His personality changed 180 degrees. It was not a complete collapse. He regained a certain level of social functioning over time. It was assessed as highly probable. His skull and the iron rod are at the Warren Anatomical Museum at Harvard Medical School. He is still a star in textbooks.